There was a point of time where I genuinely thought that I'm reaching a saturation point with the Yushman Khurana movies. I thought the repetitive screenplay of playing the small town boy an important social issue in the genre of comedy films with a finale of something educational will reach a point where the audience will simply get tired. It was only after Chandigarh Kare Aashiqui today that I realized how much I missed Ayushman Khurana films in theaters. As they say, you never really understand the true value and selling point of a product until it's not available anymore. I was fearful of the outcome of this film the moment I saw the trailer. I thought that it would be another hutke Ayushman Khurana film that will add to his filmography but will not stand the test of time. My preconceived notions were immediately put at bay when this film definitely marks as being unique as it not only sheds light on a topic that is largely misunderstood and misjudged in this country but gives wings to an actor like Bani Kapoor who has had a torrid affair with being a part of films where she only plays second fiddle to the main stars. Chandigarh Kare Aashiqui focuses on Manvinder Munjal, a bodybuilder who is working towards winning a weightlifting competition and his relationship that blossoms with Manvi Brar, the new Zumba instructor in his gym. When a secret is unearthed about Manvi being a transgender woman, this leads to their relationship crumbling and the film exploring the realities that one has to deal with while the world projects its cruelties, preconceived notions and blatant ignorance. This one is a very tricky topic to shed light on in the form of a commercial romantic comedy but Abhishek Kapoor takes the reins on at least making it palatable for the mass audience. Here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch it in theaters or not. The underwhelming aspects, generic tropes. The film is presented as a commercial romantic comedy and in the process of wanting to make sure that this film penetrates into the Indian market and is viewed by millions of people the director has to mold the story to fit a particular prototype of simply that works in mass commercial cinema This is sadly the reality that one has to deal with when sensitive topics are presented on a large scale. We would be ignorant to assume that everyone is ready to buy a ticket when hard-hitting and dramatic films are presented. One of the main reasons for the success of Ayushman Khurana films is how he markets movies that as a by-product aim to educate the audience in the process as well. I wonder whether there will be a day in the future where creators don't have to compromise on their storytelling and packaging and can present their films in its raw and truest form. Chandigarh Kare Aashiqui's most generic aspects include the dysfunctional Punjabi Munjal family. You have everything from a father who wants to get into the dating scene, an eccentric grandfather, a family that loves to eat, and loud and snooping sisters who are more interested in their brother's life than managing their own household. The sisters especially stand out as the stereotypical loud Punjabans, constantly following their brother, accounting for also a chase sequence that gets a tad bit too much. I understand that many will feel that the gym instructors and their competition and the animosity among them is another generic trope but interact with any of your gym instructors in your locality and it is exactly representative of how they show it in the film. You will probably find the conclusion of this movie quite unintentionally funny especially the portrayal of the weightlifting competition but that will vary depending on either being invested in the world from the onset or you just don't buy it. The comedy in this film is a hit and a miss but it's not entirely bad which brings me to the next points the good the music I have mixed reactions regarding the music of this film that is composed by Sachin Jigar while I have to pay respect to the original title song sung by Jassi Sidhu I quite enjoyed the music album of this movie can I just say that I was definitely tapping my feet and dancing as Keechte Nach played it's such an enjoyable track I just found the choreography hilariously awkward but it's probably intentional as they have a pehlwan dancing so it's intended to be that way my favorite from the album however has to be Kalle Kalle sung by Priya Saraiya and Ayushman Khurana lending his voice to the song Mafi it becomes like a cherry on top with this movie when it especially gets emotional in the second half dialogues there are several moments that are reflective of the reality that a transgender woman has to deal with in indian society and also represents the ignorance of the masses and their horrible treatment towards the marginalized community the dialogues written by suprit xen and tushar paranjpe really oscillate almost with great technical prowess between being ignorant on the topic with various characters and educational with people in the universe who have some experience before i get to the thought provoking and heartless lines i could not stop laughing at some of the carefree instances while being offered bhature poor ayushman on a keto diet says burpee aap hi lagaoge kya the fact that the gym is called jacks flexit gym had me rolling on the floor 
मेड आर्ग्यूमेंट विद सिस्टर्स आयुष्मान लाइक द चाइल्ड ही इज इन द मूवी कैजुअली सेज मेरा अमीनो के दर है What I liked about this film is that it unabashedly shows a mirror to the ignorant mindset of most Indians regarding this topic. The derogatory terms utilized by most people might be triggering especially to individuals from the LGBTQI community, but it is reflective of how horrible their experiences may be. Terms and dialogues such as ghar mein Ram aur gali mein Ravina or something as bad as chakka kahin ka are all reflective of what has been the horrifying experiences for a character like Manvi and so many others in real life. The thought provoking lines passed off as regular conversations that range from normal ki honda hai normal to nazariya hota hai actually reflects the pure intention of this film and why it works holistically to get its message across as characters who are ignorant on a particular topic actually make a conscious decision to learn something new performances Ayushman Khurana is in fine form yet again with this film. You might consider his version of the gym rat generic but trust me I know many people like that in my own local gym. So I really think he did a great job with this role. Manvinder is delusional, confident and lives in his own bubble only to later self reflect on his own ignorance. The journey with the character is brilliantly fleshed out, actively trying to understand on how he may have to broaden his horizons. We love to hate on a guy like Ayushman for the regularity with which he hits it out of the park, but I love to live in an age and time where an actor like him exists and constantly dares to say something new through his film. It is not Ayushman's film though. This is Vani Kapoor in her career's best performance. She has been extremely unlucky with her appearances in films but lends a great sensitivity and maturity that was much needed for this role. Her chemistry with her loving father and especially sequences where she is confronted by Ayushman in a public place and a scene where her family dynamic gets explored she shines and will surprise most people who don't have an expectation from her as a performer this just showcases how some artists just need a pedestal to show their true colors and Vani spreads her wings with great form necessary conversation this film is necessary in so many ways to be presented in a mainstream movie while it is a sanitized version of what the lgbtqi community endures on a daily basis i genuinely think it is a stepping stone for better representation of the community in the future if you want a hard hitting and realistic take on the realities that one has to endure on such a misunderstood topic i would highly recommend you check out the bengali film nagar kirtan that is available on hoy choy it is a film that will impact you deeply and will also make you reflect on a perspective in life you probably were ignorant about chandigarh ka reaashiki attempts to enlighten many viewers was through a vessel which is an Ayushman Khurana romantic comedy movie if that motivates more buds to go into theaters and as a by product they become privy to such a topic that is the reality of so many people around us then i genuinely think that the intention of the film is beautiful and a film that is worthwhile for a trip to the movies and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the movie please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching